Cheers, and welcome back to another studio vlog. How are you doing? I hope that you've had a wonderful week. I've had a wonderful week so far. It is now Thursday, and I am feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. The update is tomorrow, so you will have seen throughout this week I have been sewing, 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 and getting ready for the big update, which is going to be tomorrow, Friday, April 2nd. Um, and things are starting to kind of get to a place where I can do a few other things like reading and knitting. I was knitting during one of my meetings earlier today uh, and thought I would show you my progress so far and then I'll continue sharing progress throughout the vlog um, th you know, over the next couple of days as I share what I'm up to with you. So I have, I'm on the front of my tender sweater and it is a behemoth, look at this. <laughs> It is oh so close to joining the shoulders. So I'm on the front right now. Uh, the Progress Keeper is where I started knitting on the front and I think I was like right about here last time, last Sunday, so a few days ago for me. Uh, and so I've knit quite a bit. I knit a whole bunch during the meeting today. And I need to measure it again. I'm going to measure it after I chat with you, but I think I have two, just under two inches left to do. And then I'll do some shaping for the neck and shoulders uh, using German short rows. And then I will do a three needle bind off for the shoulders. I'm really hoping, I think I'll be able to do it in this vlog and this week um, to get the shoulders. That is my goal. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I love it. The yarn again is by Royal Bee Yarn Company. I'll leave all of the details down below in the um, down bar in the description. Love it. Super fine merino wool. Just really, really yummy. 100% wool. And yeah, I'm eager to wear it. It is going to be just in the nick of time if I can finish it to still wear it this season. I would hoped to finish this about a month ago and you know, life happens. It was about 47 degrees this Fahrenheit uh, this morning, so it's still, I could still wear this in the morning uh, for morning walks, which is my hope for wearing it. Um, or if I'm on location, <laughs> if I go to the beach or something, it'll still be very useful. Um, but right now it is about 4 p.m., a little bit after 4 p.m., and it's above 80 degrees we're having a little bit of a heat wave for these parts anyway um, but it is beautiful i just took a little bit of a walk outside and shared uh, some of the beautiful flowers on instagram i will be definitely going out to walk more throughout the next couple of days so i will of course take you with me i saw some ducks the other day and the geese are back are starting to come back as well so I've been trying to grab my camera whenever they fly by on my window, over by my window here, but um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some walks. But I have about another hour of work left, and then I'm going to do a little bit of ironing, um, get the interfacing on the rest of the bags, and keep going with those. I've been doing mostly like administrati stuff today. I was zipping on my back. <laughs> um, because I uh, launched... I had a lot of stuff to do for Patreon, for the Patreon peeps. I have information down below if you'd like to support the channel and the growing business and become a member of a really lovely community over there. And so the beginning, it's April 1st, so there's always some new posts that need to happen at the top of the month, like a discount for some of the members. We do a pre-sale the day before, 24 hours before a update. Um, what else did I do? I did the schedule for the month for our Zoom stitch and chats. And then a big exciting thing that we're doing for the first time is that we're doing a book club. Uh, just started a book club there for all of uh, Patreon members. So much fun. We did a poll choosing which uh, book we wanted to read, a choice of three, and actually have it right here. We are going to be reading this amazing book that has been on my TBR. I got it a couple of months ago after hearing several people talk about it. I think it's from 2017, 16 maybe. Um, and it's kind of a 
romance, mystery, historical, timey-wimey kind of thing, which is why I just finished reading Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So I'm really looking forward to digging into this book. I'm going to try to read a little bit of it tonight. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what's been going on today. So I'm going to get back to work and check in with you all later. It is Friday morning. It's a little bit past 8 a.m. and I've had a really good, lovely, slow kind of start to the day. Kind of started out journaling. I had some crazy dreams, so I've been trying to document those right when I wake up, uh, kind of so I can kind of get whatever meaning I need to or lessons I need to learn from my subconscious <laughs> because. Right now, there's some big lessons happening. I think for a lot of us, as we're kind of starting to re-enter, think about re-entering into the world. So yeah, anyway, so I did that. Uh, started to kind of go full force into administrati things or administrative things, getting ready for the update, which is in an hour, just under an hour. But then I was like, you know, I need to pause and take care, kind of get centered and grounded for the day. So I did yoga. Uh, for the first time in, I would say like four days, let me put this down, because <laughs> all of a sudden my <laughs> my arms are shaking because I did yoga and it had been a few days um, and I was really, I can really tell the difference of not keeping up with the practice. Now the reason why is because I haven't shared here on YouTube, I got my vaccine shot on Monday, my first one. Uh, feeling so lucky to have gotten one and be in the process of getting fully vaccinated. So yeah, big relief. I have asthma and some other autoimmune things. So I was able to kind of get in right before the public, it opens up to the public here pretty soon here in California. So very grateful. Um, but yeah, I'm cooking some breakfast right now. I'm going to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then get to preparing everything for the big update. Oh yeah, and coffee. <laughs> Good evening. It is about 6 p.m. and I am done with work for the day. It is Friday. I'm going to pour some La Croix. I don't know where my mug went. I'm going to pour some more sparkling water, light a candle, and watch a movie or a TV show or something and chill out and knit. I'm so close to getting to the shaping on my sweater. So fingers crossed. And then I'm going to uh, do a little bit of reading. I actually didn't end up doing much reading last night. So yeah gonna be a nice evening. Good afternoon. It is about 1 p.m. I think uh, and it is Saturday and I've had a lovely day so far. A nice chill morning. Got a few things done for the shop. Everything's on track for all the orders to go out on Monday first thing. Thank you all so much for your orders. I'm so so grateful for your love and support and excitement about the bag. So thank you. There are still as of the this time uh, a few more in the shop if you're interested so go check it out and now I'm just knitting blissfully the rest of the day I'm gonna head out and take a walk in a little bit 
but I am making big headway on my sweater so I will be in this little red chair for a little while. I got to 8 inches on the front part as you will have seen and I had to backtrack a little bit and put, because I had forgotten to put on the last right side row that I did, uh, the little place markers there. So I'm going to focus, or extreme close up focus. <laughs> Uh, so I have two of those for each shoulder uh, and now I am knitting to the first marker then binding off uh, for the next so that's so exciting to be binding something off uh, and then uh, we'll be uh, knitting the next shoulder with another ball of yarn and then doing shaping and all this stuff and then joining so I'm on track I'm gonna keep going I'm motivated to keep this train rolling and uh, yeah, I will check in with you all in a little bit. Perfectly. I put lipstick on to take photos because <laughs> I'm so excited. It feels so wonderful and it's not too warm. I feel like I can still wear it for a couple of months and just really year round depending on where I am in the Bay Area, which is what I wanted. It's not too cropped, but cropped enough for uh, the various things that I like to wear and Oh, I can't wait to cast on the sleeves, but I'm going to take a break from knitting because I've been pretty much nonstop since I chatted with you last. So it's been a couple of solid hours and I'm going to take a nice, lovely walk outside. Such a lovely walk. I really could have used that sweater today. It would have been perfect to wear outside and walk around. And I just saw that extra trail that I've seen a little bit off and on when I drive, but to see it on foot, because admittedly I haven't really walked down that way <laughs> the whole time that I've lived here. It's the opposite way of where I usually walk. Uh, there's like a little park and other trails to explore, so I'm really looking forward to exploring that in the coming weeks. Uh, I'm going to make hot cross buns tomorrow morning for Easter, so I won't be making them for this vlog, but I will leave a link down below and up here above to when I made them around this time last year when I was daily vlogging. So if you kind of want to see there, just a really easy, simple mills uh bread mix uh, version of hot cross buns and so they're grain free and paleo friendly um, and they're really lovely they're they're good I'm sure there are way better ones out there but they they 
fit the bill and the need. So I'm looking forward to making those in the morning. I'm going to call it an end to this vlog. I hope you enjoyed a look behind the scenes this week and being thank you for being part of the journey as I make this sweater and today was a big leap forward in confidence for finally kind of understanding the sizing that I need and and really honing on honing in on the style of sweaters that I like. I've definitely done that with cardigans, but now for sweaters or pullovers, if you will. So I'm excited. And thank you again so much for all of your comments. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for that. I don't do it enough. And I just love chatting with you all each week. And thank you for your feedback and for all of the lovely things that you say. Thank you. Thank you. And I also don't do this very often, but if you'd like to subscribe, please do. We're getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers, which is banana pants. And I'm not, uh, I don't focus on numbers usually, but it is, it would be really lovely to hit that milestone together. So yeah, hit subscribe if you haven't already. So with that, I will see you all next Sunday. Happy Easter if you celebrate and uh, see you soon. Bye.